आर यू ट्रैकिंग द राइट नंबर वॉट इज अप यू ब्यूटिफुल पीपल माई नेम इज रितो एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई बी शेयरिंग विद यू गाइज द फेसबुक एड कॉलम डेटा दैट यू शुड बी लुकिंग एट क्लोजली वाइल रनिंग योर फेसबुक एड्स ऑन योर शॉप इफ आर ड्रॉप शिपिंग बिजनेस दिस इज समथिंग दैट आई नोटिस अ लॉट ऑफ बिगिनर्स गेट रॉन्ग especially because one they don't know what numbers to look at and secondly even they, if they know what numbers they looking at they don't know what they necessarily mean or how to get those numbers so there's a lot of confusion about analytics and numbers and how to read those numbers and that leads to a lot of downfall for a lot of people especially because in a lot of my videos i talk about return on ad spend which is roas which actually is one of the most important numbers you need to be looking at i still to this day keep getting questions from people who are like what does roas even mean like where can i get all that information do i need to open up a calculator and try to calculate the roas from for my campaigns or for my shopify store in this video i lay down the entire blueprint i'll show you guys the columns of my actual running facebook ad account and i'll show you guys how you can set it up in a way so that you can read your numbers analyze your numbers a little bit better than what you're used to right now so don't get overwhelmed i'm going to cover a lot of different numbers it doesn't matter if you have been good at math or not because because you don't have to do any calculations per se because facebook will show you all the numbers that you need to read in the right way all right so let's dive in all right so guys i'm inside my facebook ad account and as you can see right here uh, we have the nail gel that i've been selling for quite a while i've stopped all the campaigns because they stopped performing for me a few months ago but uh, all the numbers that you see here in fact like if you have a look at all these numbers it can be very overwhelming for a beginner who doesn't know how to read these numbers properly for a lot of people they don't even know how to get these numbers so first off let me tell you how you can get those numbers and then i'll tell you how to read these numbers in the right way all right so on the right hand side you see here there's a thing called columns now it won't show main in your case but if you click on this you'll have a lot of you'll probably be on the performance columns by default but what you need to do is click on customize columns or when you click on customize columns it's going to open up a pop up that shows you all the columns that are available so you see here they have got a lot of data like facebook tracks every single thing that's happening on your website and on your ads and it shows all that data whatever you need to see it can be now you can start to imagine like how overwhelming it can be for somebody to see all of this data together but the good news is you don't need to see all of this data you only need a few columns and i'll tell you which columns you need and in which order so that you can read the data in a much better way or right, so the first thing you need to do is set up the campaign name they, they should be set up by default the second column should be delivery and by the way guys whatever column i'm mentioning here if you like if i uncheck delivery it will just disappear from this columns list if i check delivery it will show up again on the columns list but you see here at the bottom so i can actually drag and drop this delivery at the top like it was before so when you need to add any columns uh, you can just search for columns so if you need to search for let's say ads to cart so website ads of payment info website ads to cart you can uncheck and check any column is going to show up on the right hand side here and then you can drag and drop it like i've set it up right here so you've got delivery the second is website purchases the third is budget amount spent website purchases conversion value cost per website purchase website purchase roas and this is again this is something that not a lot of people know how to get so you don't have to open up a calculator any time you need to calculate your roas it will all be shown right here inside facebook so website purchase roas is the metric you're looking at this is basically the return on ad spend next up you have website ads to cart you have cost per link click you have cost per website ad to cart unique outbound clicks cpm which is cost per 1000 impressions unique outbound ctr which is click through rate so once you have set up the columns like this set it up exactly Exactly like you see here, and once you have done that, click on Save as preset at the bottom as and give it a name, something like Main or Primary or your name or whatever name you want to give it. Just give it that name and click on Apply, so that in the future, if you reload your page and then you can select the columns Main, it will show up like here, like it shows up on my console. It will show up as Main. You can just click on Main, and all the columns will be shown, and all the data corresponding to all your ad sets and campaigns will be shown like this. So this is how you can set up. all the columns so that you can read all the data better now let me explain what what each of these mean the first is website purchases this is the number of website purchases driven by this particular campaign and by the way guys if i go inside this particular campaign the columns remain the same it will show me all the ad set based data so if i can even sort the results by clicking on the column header here and as you see right here so i can actually see all the ad set data earlier we were seeing all the campaign data and all of the similar data that we had set it up in our columns earlier is all seen here on the ad set level 
So let's go back to the campaigns level right here so that I can show you guys. So let me just again sort by website purchases. All right, so here we have it. Number of website purchases. We have the budget uh, is using like ad set budget and then we have the amount spent. Website purchase is conversion value. This is the total amount of revenue generated using the ads inside this campaign. And next up we have cost per website purchase. Pretty self-explanatory. ROAS is again return on ad spend like I've explained in several, several videos. And then you have the website ads to cart. So this is the number of ads to cart that happened because of this campaign. And again, by the way, guys, if you go inside the campaign and go to the ad set level, then you'll see all the same stats for particular ad sets. And when you're looking at all the data, don't look at campaign level data, always look at ad set level data. So I'm just giving you guys an example just by showing you this major campaign here but let's just go inside the ad set level and just see if inside this campaign how everything turned out so I'm going to again sort by website purchases and show you guys what each of these means so then you have the same data like I showed you before like ROAS is particularly important on the ad set level and these are all the ad sets then you have the number of website ads to cart cost per link click cost per website ad to cart the unique outbound clicks which is again very important when you're looking at the first sale chart according to my FB ad stage two method and then you have a CPM which is cost per thousand impressions and CTR so when you're running your ads as I've explained a lot of times in the past like according to the first sale chart so the most important data you're looking at is the number of website ads to cart and the unique outbound clicks which is the link clicks and you're looking at ROAS so these are the three most important metrics when you're analyzing your Facebook ad data and while this might seem like useless knowledge to somebody who's already pretty experienced with Facebook ads I've met and talked with a lot of beginners and they face this issue like overwhelmingly and because a lot of people are not able to read all of this data properly it leads to a lot of issues so they end up either spending more ads on Facebook ads than they were supposed to or they're not even able to find out whether they were getting purchases or the ROAS was positive or not and all of this confusion leads to a loss making store so we don't want that so again guys so this is all of the data that you need to be looking at and set up the columns in the way I just showed you here you should be good to go in the next video I'll actually be covering some important important questions that a few people from the bootcamp are also asking and yes the bootcamp just ended yesterday I'll be sharing the highlight reel video of that in just a few days in the bootcamp a lot of people were asking like what if I get a lot of add to carts but no sale what if I get a lot of initiate checkouts but no sale what if I get a lot of visitors but no add to cart so there these are all these painful questions that a lot of beginners and intermediates and sometimes even experts have like what can be wrong with my store how can I improve my store so that my ads start performing better so that I can get more sales and much better results from Facebook ads and I'll be explaining all of that in the next video so if you dig that make sure to hit the thumbs up right below and make sure you subbed and bell to the flying star online channel and until next time okay tata bye bye